in the hot scorching sun. Four days a week, blood, sweat, and tears were literally spilled on this court. All for a pair of Kyries. But let's not talk about that for now, I. Let's talk about the obstacles that we needed to face on our way to the NBA Finals. So let's recap on what I said on the previous video. So, yeah, so a couple months ago, I uploaded a video on what it takes to make it into the junior NBA in South Africa. In that video, I mentioned a bunch of things from my team, the drills we did, workouts, my stats, and even some of the best moments I've had during the regular season. Quote, regular season. So now, the regular season is over. It's playoff time, and things are about to get tough. So, in the junior NBA, this is how it works. In this league, we have 16 teams, Pool A and Pool B. So as the season goes on, everything is recorded here, and the four teams that are at the top of each pool, meaning the top four teams in Pool B and Pool A get to play each other in the quarterfinals and the semifinals. And the finals as well. Now let me illustrate how it works. So the first seed in each pool plays against the fourth seed in both pools, whereby the second seed and the third seed play against one another. And a big fat butt. This is mixed up, meaning the first seed in pool A plays the fourth seed in pool B, vice versa. Also, the second seed in pool A plays the third seed in pool B, vice versa again. Now let's go on to our quarterfinal game. This game was not as intense I expected it to be, but your coach, yeah, your coach did not put me in the starting five. But it didn't matter because the guy who I was subbed for went crazy in that game. I think bro had like 9 points and 5 rebounds in like 10 minutes or 15 minutes or something. Because bro was hot. Pause. Bro was on fire that day, bro. Yeah. So, let's fast forward to the juicy stuff. Fourth quarter, 20 seconds left. We're down 2 points. Your boy gets subbed out. But trust me, it was worth it. One of our teammates foul, so the other team shoots free throws. They miss both, so now we have possession. But for some reason, the other team decided to foul us, which was not necessary. So, our first free throw, it goes in. The second one hits the back rim, but the guy that I was subbed for literally turned into John Morant and bro legit put back that thing like crazy bro and everyone would start going crazy because it was the game winning shot and man it was amazing and we ended up winning that game i think by one point and trust me the semifinals were even crazier than that disclaimer quarterfinals and semifinals were played on the same day meaning we were gassed and the sun was not playing around on that day so our semifinal opponents had a lot of tall guys i think like three of them in the team were taller than every one of us so we were literally seen as midgets <laughs> same scenario as the score at the quarterfinals they were up ahead by one point with 15 seconds left this is where we truly turned into actual midgets because our point guard went off bro i'm talking about the shortest player in our entire team never forget that part when he legit broke that guy's ankle with a simple wrap around but ooh, it was smooth bro yeah and um the thing that made it so memorable was the audience and the fact that i was there to help him out in breaking that guy's ankles because i was there to set up a screen yeah he's, 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 he's not saving. yeah bro did the wrap around broke bro's ankles went for a floater Slinch that thing, secured the dub, and trust me, man, those two games, <laughs> they were just the beginning of it. 